I leaned on my partnership with you and your team. Uh, if anybody ever had any questions about, you know, how many deals have you done or how long you've been doing this, it was always been, oh, my team and I have been doing this for a while. If you're a real estate investor and are wondering how to raise and leverage private money to make more profit on every deal, then you're in the right place. On Raising Private Money, we'll speak with new and seasoned investors to dissect their deals and extract the best tips and strategies to help you get the money, because the money comes first. Now here's your host, Jay Connor. Excellent question. Excellent question. Who would like to give feedback on not enough experience? Uh, Banjo, and er Banjo and Erica. Yes, sir. So I, from my personal experience, when I uh, first started looking for private lenders using your Where to Get the Money Now program and everything, I leaned on my partnership with you and your team. Uh, if anybody ever had any questions about you know how many deals have you done or how long you've been doing this it was always been oh my team and i have been doing this for a while um and then for the whole the, the the one in there that was talking about what if i don't know what to say you know like you said earlier you just tell them um you either tell them you don't know and to be honest with them and just say look i don't know i'll get that answer for you right away or do what i did and just drill your uh your program every day and, and and that way you know the program like the back of your hand and talk to your parents about it talk to your wife your kids everybody talk to your dog about it <laughs> so we well, used so, to just be in the kitchen so what are you <laughs> right and asking each other questions right and just get really really versed in in your program so you you're confident as far as that goes and if they start asking pointy questions about your experience i always just leaned on my partnership with you <laughs> So, Crystal, uh, how would you answer the question? What does it mean to leverage a relationship? Leveraging a relationship simply means that you're in relationship with someone else. You're going to utilize that relationship to help bolster confidence and trust by the experience the other individual has. So, like we've talked about, and actually, one of the, they talked about a lot of things that are real fun that I've always talked about when I talk to the students, but... One of the one of the big ones is, you know, if if they're in relationship with you and I and or a JV relationship, it doesn't have to be someone like particularly us, then you it might be that that other person has all of the experience and you don't. But you in a collective have that amount of experience. So if your partner has 30 years of experience and you have zero or six months, well, you've had my partner and I have 30 years of experience and or my partner and I have completed X number of rehabs, 300 rehabs. So it's, it's, here's the thing that matters. Oftentimes I'll have students say to me, well, but that's not my experience. Well, do you not have that person in your corner? Is that person not going to hold your hand? Is that person not going to assure that you do know what you're doing? Because if you're partners, then that's your, the objective, right? That's the point of the relationship. And thereby you can say that with confidence. My partner and I do, because my partner is not going to let me go willy nilly and do a bunch of stupid things because I don't have the same level of experience. I'm leveraging their knowledge. I'm leveraging their history. I'm leveraging their experience. So that's how you leverage that relationship. Taffy, you have the honor of bringing us home and putting a bow on this meeting. Well, hey, Jay, there are, uh, 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 how do you say it? There are many, many fears that <clears throat> might be passing through everyone's heads when they're going to talk to people. Um, I do just want to um, uh, kind of tie in a lot of these fears just, just with one thought. Um, I, I mean, there's a lot of thoughts, only just one in particular, which is don't expect any responses from anybody. Go out there and share what you know and let them respond and just address the responses as it happens. And 
what I find, Jay, when I'm working with a lot of people and over the, you know, over the decades, uh, you know, over the decade that I've worked with a lot of students like around the world, I've, I've worked with thousands of students around the world, and you know that too, is that you tend to get what you expect. And when you expect people to say no, or when you expect people to reject you, you're projecting that to them and you might get that back. So when you have no expectations or you expect them to be interested, then you'll get that back as well. And so don't judge people because of your experiences. And a lot of the fears that you are feeling, a lot of the fears that are coming up are your own personal fears. They're not the fears of the other person that you're talking to. And because you have those fears, you're projecting those fears, which then you might get that. So again, a lot of times, Go out there, and if you have that heart of service, like, like Crystal was talking about, and you truly, honestly, are really looking to share with people this information about how they can make more money safely and securely, then it doesn't really matter what their response is, because you're going out there, and you're educating, and you're sharing with people, so what's the fear of that, right? And so that's, let me tie that all up and just say, you know, a lot of these fears are really just your own personal fears based upon your own past experience. And when you change that mindset to, as Crystal said, from service, uh, from, you know, sales to service, and you go out there and you serve people and you help people, then all these fears just kind of disappear because you're just going out there and you're educating people. That's awesome. Thank you so much, Chappie. Are you feeling inspired by the knowledge you gained in this episode? Then head over to jconner.com slash money guide. That's j-c-o-n-n-e-r.com slash money guide and download your free guide that shares seven reasons why private money will skyrocket your real estate investing business right now. Again, that's jconner.com slash money guide to get your free guide. We'll see you next time on Raising Private Money with Jay Conner.